Alright, so did a little work this morning before I started filming. Just kind of got antsy. I wanted to get the uh, tie rods off. You deal just two really good whacks with the uh, pickle fork and the hammer, and boom, they popped right off. So I haven't done any real measuring just yet. I'm kind of getting antsy and I want to do something that's kind of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the uh, stoppers off because they were not hitting yet how far I had it low lowered but you could feel them as soon as you hit a bump you could feel it hit so you know that's common with a lowered car got to get rid of these next thing after that I'll cut off the uh, shock tower I'm going to cut it pretty close and flush with the tube then after that um, I may just take the sawzall and whack the uh, steering stabilizer mount off and then of course this um, bump stop over here in the shock tower one other way you can tell that this is an aftermarket beam and that not that somebody put these adjusters in is it doesn't have the um, steering stops over here there's usually on a German beam there's a little metal bracket with a uh, steering stops and I'm not sure if they just came on the late models uh, later models I know all the ball joint beams have them I never really checked on a link pin and then of course there's another obvious way is it's got a parts tag on it you know back on the back side so I'm going to do some of the fun stuff I'm not going to cut the tubes just yet because I got to measure everything out I just kind of want to do some cutting this morning and we'll let you see some of that So you can see the uh, bump stops are pretty hefty. They're solid all the way through. So it's going to take you a little work to cut that out. But got the shock towers cut off. Going to clean that up, and I'll cap the tops in a little bit. Now comes the fun part: measuring everything out. And I'll probably turn the camera off for all that. All right. So I used the. Uh, Saws all to make my cuts right here along the beam. Probably not the best way, but it's what my brain decided to do at that moment. Then once that was able to come off, I was able to take this end off. And then I used the die grinder, which makes a little, lot better cut, and cut my two inch sections out. And they're fairly even. Um, you know, there may be a little gap or a little space there. Now we will go and try and get all this tack welded together and lined up and that will be the next order of business here
So, now that I got the battery going again, I took my two inches out of this side of the beam. I uh, cut along here with a, I did it with the sawzall. I didn't go all the way through because I left the torsion leaves in. And then I got the arm, the sides off, and then I took the two inches out of the sides. I had to relocate my um, steering stabilizer mount. I have not yet relocated these bosses. Um, they're to keep the beam from the steering box from sliding over. So I'm going to wait until I get that mocked up in there, and then I'll go and put a little tack weld of a piece of metal on each side, or I may tack weld the uh, bracket to the beam. Ground it all flush where it sits against the car. Didn't really care about, well, I didn't paint right there. I got to get that done. But I didn't really care about where it's not going to hit the car. Had a lot of problems with the welder, so the welds are not my best quality. Then I shortened the tie rods on the right hand threaded side. And I could have done the measurements and I could have done Pythagorean's theorem, figured out the uh, links and all that. But what I decided to do was just look on the internet and see what everybody else did. I heard two different conflicting reports. One was half the distance you take out of each side. The other one was the take the same amount out. So what I did was they had pretty good amount sticking out already on the uh, tie rods. So instead of doing the full amount and doing half, what I did was an inch and three quarters on both. And hopefully that will be enough. Um, the threads go pretty far in there. You probably can't see the threads in that picture, but they are in there. And a friend of mine is going to tap it farther. And he's going to also redo the uh, little spot here where the grep screw goes. He has a little jig that he's made out of a center of the uh, adjusters. He takes the stock one because he has those left over from putting adjusters in. Puts it on the side and then puts it in this good drill press and drills in there with what he said I think was a 9 16 drill bit. In case anybody's out there looking to do that. So we're going to go take it up there to him and uh, I'll pick it up tomorrow. He'll do it probably in the morning I guess. And then I'll slap it right back in the bug and start getting this thing back together. Alright, so took a little longer than I thought and uh, my brother's welder is a good little welder but it just doesn't weld anything thick especially on an extension cord so you know setbacks there and then uh, I don't know why the biggest thing that fought me this last time was the tie rod in getting it out of the tie rod itself that thing was in there so until next time everybody have a good time working on their cars and uh, get some work done out there let's get these things back on the road you know, maybe we all can uh, meet up sometime and have like a big car cruise or something. All right, see you all later.